Hi, I'm Katie, I'm a Tasty Producer, and today I'm gonna to be testing out some of the most popular breakfast gadgets. We've got the Hamilton Beach Dual Breakfast Sandwich Maker, then we've got the Pancake Bonanza, and last but not least, we have Macon Bacon. Let's go make a lot of breakfast. Right here, we have the Hamilton Beach Dual Sandwich Maker. So right on top, we've got instructions. A quick start, that's probably what I'll use. It's got a pretty finish on the top here. I think this is non-stick. The quality feels pretty nice, actually. You know, if someone came over, they'd be like, that lady is serious about her breakfast. It just looks like a torture device a little bit. Can you see now? Is this better? Can you see now? I love breakfast sandwiches. I make them all of the time. So I'm excited to try to make one of these. So I have all my ingredients to make some breakfast sandwiches. What I found is he doesn't have a very long cord. But fortunately, I have a Massive, uh, huge extension cord. Ooh, little beep. Okay, oh, and he's got a little numbers. I think this is for your timing. Yes. Well, I'm gonna open this guy up, use my mitt here. Now, the quick start directions say to put the base on the bottom. So I've got cheese, I love cheese. I'm gonna do one that's like fully loaded, just like intense, and then I'm gonna just do another one that is a little bit more like basic. Now, I'm gonna put my safety mitt back on. I will say this is like hot, be careful. Um, okay, next we're gonna crack eggs into this slot. Here we go. Just try it. Okay. It says in the instructions to poke the yolk at the top and then I'm just gonna try to push this around so it's a little more even. Oh, okay, and I broke my yolk. That's okay. Second time's a charm. Oh my gosh, it's getting very hot. I will say. I'm gonna poke the yolk in this one. We put the tops of the breakfast sandwich on top of that. Don't burn yourself, people. Okay, and then we're gonna close it like so. Their recommended time, four to five minutes. Okay, four minutes on the clock. This is when you can just like go put four minutes worth of makeup on. Talk to your children if you have them. Help them put on their shoes. Hey, we got 37 seconds on the clock, 36. It's counting down like a bomb. Five, four, three, two, one. Breakfast blast off! Oh, I thought it was a, a fun little song, but it's just beeping. Rotate the cooking plates out, so, okay, it's a little bit strong, okay. Rotate it out, we got a little bit of egg residue. We're rotating this other one. A lot of egg residue on that guy. Then it says to lift them all up with oven mitts. Don't forget. Ah! All right, so not like the easiest reveal. Turn off the heat. The only way to turn off the heat is to unplug it. Ooh, very hot, very hot. I'm gonna set him over there to cool down. He worked a hard day's work. Okay, and here's our little breakfast Sammies. It's a little bit wet on the bottom, but the rest of it's very crispy. Okay, here we go. That was really good, actually. The pepper got cooked just enough. You know where it's not like too overcooked? It still has a little bit of a crunch. The egg is completely cooked through, and the ham is nice and hot. I would say A minus. And now let's try the more basic one. Okay, so here we go. That's totally hot. That's so good. This taste on the second one will give like an A because there was no sogginess. It was nice and crisp, nice and toasty. And the meat was heated all the way through. I'm very impressed and surprised. Okay, so overall for the Hamilton Beach Dual Sandwich Maker, it worked pretty well. As far as how things tasted, nothing was cold. It was nice and crispy. I really enjoyed the flavor and you can do so many different combinations and customize that I'd say that's awesome. The two negatives I would say is just that it's a little bit clunky. It uh, has a lot of moving parts. I did try to clean it and this does pop out, but it's just a little bit hard to get in on all those nicks and crannies. So it's not super simple or quick to clean. Okay, we're done with this. And now it's time to have a pancake bonanza. What does that mean? Does anyone know what bonanza actually means? The definition of bonanza is a situation or event that creates a sudden increase in wealth, good fortune, or profits. Wait, so if I make a bunch of pancakes, my wealth and profits is gonna change? I thought bonanza was a party. 
Okay, it's kind of small, but I guess, I mean, we're not all making diner pancakes that are huge. This is a normal size pancake. Nice soft grip on the handles here. Instruction just popped out. It's copper inside, ladies and gentlemen, copper, which conducts heat really well. Flipping pancakes can be tricky. You know, like, have you ever had it, like, you flip it and it, like, lands on the side? This, hopefully, is gonna get us, like, a nice pancake on both sides, perfect. And it's supposed to be non-stick, because sometimes you have those pancakes that you're, like, scraping off the bottom. So let's check it out, let's go have a pancake bonanza, and I'm gonna get rich. This is hot now, this is ready to go. I'm gonna open them up. Pancakes are kinda messy. I'm gonna turn the heat now to low. Yeah, it's looking like it's filled out nicely. We're getting bubbles, it's starting to really cook here. Um, I'm gonna close them up, and we'll check on him in just a minute. The problem I'm finding now is you can only make one pancake at a time. It's also strange that I can't look at the progress of my pancake, as that is so essential for like knowing when to flip. I think you could flip. Moment of truth. Ready? Bam. It's a little darker than I like my pancake to be. This is also a little bit awkward to be like, hey, want a pancake? Like, whoa, don't do that. He looks nice. It has a good shape. I wanna try another one with the heat a little bit lower. All right, nicely spreading out. Flip time. Uh, that is so satisfying. That's the best part about this. All right, uh, this guy, ready to serve again. Dangerous. Why don't we try some with some chocolate chips in it? I'm just gonna eyeball this. A little more better, okay. That looks good. Cooking pancakes and butter is always delicious, but you don't have to add anything to keep it not sticking from the pan. I like this. My only issue with it right now is that you just, you, you can't do that many and you're waiting for a while. And chocolate chip pancake, ready to come off. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my favorite toppings to this pancake. Uh, we're gonna add a little butter, mm. maple syrup. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few chocolate chips. Mm hmm. This guy's pretty fluffy right in here. He's just like nice and thick, and we got like, oh, one of our chocolate chip bits right there. That looks delicious. I say this did a great job. They're consistently fluffy. They have a nice shape, and they weren't that hard to flip. So overall, these tasted pretty good. I'd say like an A minus, B plus. I mean, it didn't change the pancake flavor, but it kept them all nice and fluffy and around the same size. I don't know if it's a thing you necessarily need unless you really care about the look of your pancake. So I guess it just depends if you're a visual person, then maybe this is the thing for you. So we have the original Make and Bacon Microwave Rack. I just wanna talk about Abby the Inventor. She looks like she's eight and she's from the 90s. So it looks like you just put them on a rack, you put a paper towel over it, you microwave it, and then you eat it. Um, okay, what we've got here is like a dustpan, it looks like. So this thing holds the little rack in place and then you twist it, ooh. And then I think, and then you can take it out, okay. Uh, there's no instructions, so we're on our own. Did I lose the instructions? Oh! You're kidding, you're kidding. Oh, on the back, you'll never lose the instructions because it is a part of the gadget. Microwave use only. One, insert drip bars into the holes. We did that, great. I'm gonna go get some bacon, and we're gonna test. We've got a bunch of bacon here. We're gonna go with thick cut first. I'll do four strips on each strip rack. Make sure you wash your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Cute, it's like hanging up your laundry. It's a fun activity. This is a nightmare. What happens if they're dangling too much? Should we, should we cut them? This is not what Abby wanted. Oh my God, okay. This is just horrifying. But you're getting a lot of strips done. You aren't gonna get a splatter of oil. So far it's it's pretty gross, but who knows what it'll taste like. I'm gonna cover with a paper towel. And then it says a minute per strip. And I'm gonna do eight minutes because that's how many strips there are. All right, so we are less than one minute out. Betsy, a fellow Tasty producer, has come by to check this out. I mean, when I walked in, I was like, she's making bacon, 100%. Great, but, but was it smelling like good bacon? I mean, it smells like microwave bacon. Okay. <laughs> Do you wanna see who invented it? This little girl named Abby. A little she, girl invented she this. She kinda looks like you, Katie. 
No. Was this from the 90s or 80s? It's the 90s. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Dun, dun. Oh, is it plastic? Yeah, it's plastic in the microwave. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is <laughs> that is rock hard. It doesn't really taste like anything. I think we need to give Abby another chance and do it for a little less time. Because maybe we just cooked it too long. Okay. Let's give Abby a second chance. So we're back and we're gonna give this another try. I'm not gonna cut the ends of this. I'm just gonna let them live their best life. Okay, make and bake and take two. Four minutes, we're cutting the time in half. Okay. And they're definitely not cooked enough. Two more minutes. Hopefully, this is the this is good, and we do Abby proud. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey, the thick bacon is not quite finished. It's still a little undercooked, but the thin bacon's they're looking done. Much nicer than the last time. I'm gonna try one now. It's just missing everything you love about bacon. It's so it's so dry. It's way too crispy. It's just chalky. So I guess if you want something healthy, this is healthier, but it's still bacon. So if you're gonna have bacon, I feel like just enjoy it. Taste-wise, I am gonna give this like a C minus a D. First time around, we'll give it an F. It really was bad the first time. This worked? I don't know, like it worked well that it was, it cooked the bacon, it took the fat off. So if this is something you're considering buying, maybe if you're gonna like put it in a sandwich and like cover it with a bunch of other flavors and things, but I would just say if you're gonna have bacon, it takes about the same amount of time to cook the bacon as it does in the pan. So I don't, it's not saving you that much time. This I cleaned up between bacons and is super easy to clean. But otherwise, it's, I just feel like, go for real bacon. Well, thank you guys for watching us test all of those crazy breakfast gadgets. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you own one of these things? And also, if you have any ideas for what we could test next, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Till next time, bye.